I find it funny that no one really gave a shit to watch this movie this last weekend, so since I'm getting you this review late, I'm gonna tell you some spoiler-ish things that I wouldn't really tell you in the actual review if I got it up early. And it made more than an abysmal opening, seriously, this movie made too much though. I know what it made, it made shit, and it made more than it should've. Pan. So Pan is the telling of the origin story of Peter Pan, kind of, but you know, it's a fresh new take and it's darker. It's pretty much Disney's answer to Fan Forstick. It's a darker, more boring telling of an origin story of characters you're familiar with that you should be having fun with that you just hate the entire time. Peter Pan's in an orphanage, life sucks, a bunch of pirates take a bunch of kids there and they take them to Neverland where Blackbeard, played by Hugh Jackman, has a bunch of slave labor and they're mining for pixie dust. And halfway through this movie I knew there was a problem because we were halfway through and we were still in this stupid mine and it's Neverland. This is a land literally of imagination. It's a land of dreams. Anything is possible. So for the first half of this movie you're in this boring ass brown mine and I was like all right when we get off the second rate blood diamond set maybe it'll get better it never really does I just had to roll my eyes at the fact that in this movie Peter Pan has three days to learn how to fly holy shit that's the plot of hook you're now pulling from a superior Peter Pan movie and you're just doing it worse and he meets James Hook along the way in the mine I this dude this dude. I don't know what cartoon this guy was doing, but this guy, he always talks like out of the corner of his hat. And he's always like, Name's James Hook. I was like, w what version of American, what is that? I'll tell you what it is. It's what other countries think Americans talk like. I'm here, guys. We don't all sound like that. In fact, the majority of us don't. You just always see Americans who look and talk and act like Hook in this movie on the news because they're always talking about what the UFO looked like or they're just giving Kim Davis high five. Name's James Hook. I don't know what he was channeling. I Got nothing for you. And the origin story of Peter Pan and Hook being friends would have been cool if there was some inkling of Hook in this character, but there just wasn't. Rooney Mara was in this movie as Tiger Lily, I guess. All right, yeah. Hey, don't flood my comment section with they whitewash Tiger Lily. I get it. That is the palest woman ever. Granted, I love pale chicks. So that is awesome. Good job, Rooney Mara. Tiger Lily? Mm, I don't know about that. It would have been fine if she totally crushed the role. You're like, oh, she was really good in the movie, but uh, it could have been anybody. And of course they have to make Peter Pan some messiah, some like Jesus Pan, where it's this prophecy where this kid's gonna come out of nowhere who can fly and he's gonna take out Blackbeard. Which is the easiest plot device to do in a movie. And it just, I hate it when they do it with characters who are pre-established characters that we know from our childhood and we love. And they're like, hey, we'll just make it a prophecy. And that's why he's that. No, because it creates a rift and now divides you from the character. Peter Pan was cool because kids wanted to be Peter Pan. They didn't want to grow up. But now he's like, no, he's Pan Jesus. All right, well, now I can't be like him because we're not messiahs. I hated that they did it with Darth Vader. I'm not super attached to the character of Peter Pan. I just hate that they do that in movies. Stop it. Make him a character. Don't just be like, eh, it's a prophecy. It's just easier this way. But still, you're thinking, all right, maybe it'll show Peter Pan and Hook be friends, and then Hook's gonna screw him over, and that's how they become enemies. He's gonna lose his hand to the crocodile. None of that shit happens. This movie ends with Hook being friends with Peter Pan, and he kind of has this romance with Tiger Lily that's bullshit that you don't buy. Still has his hand. It's just they just go on in their adventures. Like, all right, kid, check us out the rack straight on till morning. And I was like, oh, they're doing that thing where they're setting up for a sequel or a trilogy. Totally gonna happen. Guys, in the end, Pan sucked. It was terrible. The character sucked. The premise sucked. It's not for kids. It's not for adults. I would say maybe it's for kids if at the beginning kids weren't getting kicked off a plank and falling down a cliff to their death. It's too violent for kids, too boring for adults. What's this movie? I'll tell you what it is. Pan is dog shit. Well, I guess this is just another reimagining that didn't pan out. Yeah! Alright guys, so Pan, have you seen it? What? No, you didn't. I, you, no one saw this movie. Alright, so Hook, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought about Hook, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.